Hi everyone, in this video we are going to check out the overalling procedure of the centrifugal pump. First of all, we have to isolate the pump which we need to overall. Switch off the breaker, lock the pump locally and close the suction and discharge valves. Put a tag on the switchboard so that no one will start the pump accidentally. As you see, the shaft is vertically mounted and the motor rests on the support. And this pump casing is split type, so there is no need to remove the motor from place. When we tried to start the pump, there was too much vibration. That's why we plan to overhaul this pump. As you can see, there is more play in the shaft. So myself and uh, Jitin, the engine fitter, are going to overhaul this pump. So at first we have to loosen the coupling bolts. After loosening the coupling bolts, the cooling pipe which goes to the lower bush is removed. After removing the cooling pipe, the bush cover is uh, locked by two bolts. So both the bolts has to be loosened and the bush cover along with the bush will be pulled out. One of the bolts which locks the bush with the cover is broken. So the bush has got damaged clearly. The cooling water connection which goes to the mechanical seal has to be removed. We can remove the coupling bolts now. So one by one we removed all the coupling bolts. One half of the casing can be removed now. So one by one all the bolts which holds the casing together is removed. After removing all the casing bolts, the bolt which hold the glands can be loosened and removed from place. Now you can get the view of the mechanical seal. So now carefully you can remove the casing from place.
Care has to be taken not to damage the mechanical seal when removing the shaft and other things. The ring is worn out too much, so you can see the clearance between the ring and the impeller, there is too much clearance. Mark on one side of the bearing housing before removing it. After marking, loosen the nuts and remove the bearing housing from place. So after you remove the bearing housing, your shaft will be free to remove. So except the casing, all other parts of the pump comes along with the shaft. So you have to remove the shaft without damaging the mechanical seal if you are going to fit back the pump with the same seal. Now one by one we are going to remove all the parts from this pump shaft. First of all we are going to remove the coupling, pump coupling. So the pump coupling is attached with the shaft using an allen screw to keep it in place. So we have removed this allen screw and uh, we have to gently tap the coupling and remove the coupling from the shaft. In case if uh, the coupling is very hard to remove then you have to use the bearing puller to pull out the coupling from the shaft. Next is the key, key which is between the coupling and the pump shaft. Remove the key without uh, damaging the corners or edges of the key. Now you can remove the bearing top cover. Next is the lock nut, slightly tap on the lock nut and uh, remove the lock nut. This lock nut helps to keep the bearing in place. After the lock nut, lock washer has to be removed. Next the bearing has to be removed. Normally we use bearing puller to remove the bearing from the shaft. But in our case, the shaft is worn out little bit, so the bearing came out very easily with slight tapping. Next is the mechanical seal cover or uh, gland cover. Next we are going to remove the mechanical seal from the shaft. Since the seal is not affected or not damaged, we are going to use the same seal. Clean the shaft and after loosening the lock nut, you can remove the mechanical seal from the shaft. Yeah. 
all the parts uh, from one side of the shaft has been removed now so now we'll go to the other side try to hold the impeller or lock the impeller in a place and then remove the locking nut of the impeller impeller locking nut impeller nut and small washer is removed now next is the sleeve for the shaft pull out the shaft sleeve from the shaft now only the impeller is left on the shaft slowly remove the impeller from the shaft then remove the key which holds the impeller to the shaft and that's it we have fully dismantled the centrifugal pump i hope you learned a lot of things from this video hello friends considering the length of the video i have posted the assembling of this pump in detail as a separate video in part 2 Please check out. In the video, you will be able to like and share. In this video, you will be able to watch this video and subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell icon and click on the bell icon. Thank you.